Hello and welcome to another tutorial by me, Hamster Hill. This one is going to be on meta modeling. Um, now, meta modeling is basically when you use meta objects to sort of build the the basic sort of shape of your your character or your pet or whatever. It's only really for organic modeling because most of the um, the objects that you use to build stuff with are like circular. Um, so with that said, I'll show you what it is, because it's kind of hard to explain. Um, so first we'll delete our default cube, you want to press space, add, down here, meta. Um, so we're going to add a meta ball. And um, be aware that you are in edit mode now. Now, um, it's a lot of hard to tell with meta objects, but they do have an edit mode and all that kind of stuff. Um, there's not really much difference if you're using it for modeling, um, but if you're using it for um, animations and stuff like that, then you obviously need to know which one you're in. Um, so, as we can see, we sort of have a, a smooth UV sphere here, and it sort of doesn't look that great. But, the cool thing about it is, if we add a second one, and then move it around, you can see that they're stuck together. And um, this, of course, is just an awesome feature for modeling and stuff because if you, say, wanted to make a cartoon character or something, then we can just grab this one down here and we can have, say, that first one has a head. You can select things and just scale them up and stuff. We'll scale this down for the neck part, sort of give them an oblong -y kind of head like that. And then we might want to add a neck one so you can add a tube. Grab it, we want to scale that down. Um, there's also a whole heap of things down here to do with it. I haven't tested most of them out, but um, one of the main ones you want to consider is where is it? Uh, wire size. You turn that down and it turns up the um, the resolution of it. Um, the resolution doesn't actually matter for when you render because when it renders it sets it like smooth as um so yeah so you can just sort of give him a funny looking nose or something like that and then we might want to give him like cut out bits for the eyes um there is a way to also with this if we grab this and say scale it down there's a way down here where you can um, negative. Here we go, negative. And basically, what that make means is that it cuts out things instead of adds things. Um, those are a bit hard to see, of course, when you're trying to select them and stuff. But um, so, if I was to grab this and just sort of put it where an eye would be, go to front view and move it along, you can see it. It cuts out like an Eye hole, yeah. So, um, as you can see, this is a wonderful feature. It's real useful for all sort of modeling and stuff as well. It also makes some trippy looking animations and sort of when you um, you may have seen my I think it was called Green or something video on my account, and that's sort of just using an animation with this. But I really wouldn't recommend it because the um, time it takes to bake it and render it and all that kind of stuff really isn't worth the result you get in the end. Um, and the cool thing about meta objects is um, so say this is my sort of head and then if you go into object mode you can duplicate it and get the exact same thing again and they'll respond to each other still. So, um, say if you sort of, you're trying to model something that's pretty complex and you sort of want to cut a certain meta shape out of it, you can build that shape out of other meta objects and then use it for the modeling. Um, so we'll just continue going with our person here. Um, add a tube for the neck. Just rotate it. Um... You can't really scale directionally with these, is something that I found out. It's sort of, um, but you can scale it when you're in object mode still. But, um, there's only cer there's certain limitations with that. 
Um, so we'll just keep going with our model here. Um, ball, grab it, check it down here for his body. And um, you can actually change one into the other just through this little panel down here. If you sort of add one and you decide on or you want an ellipse instead or something, you can add it in down there. Yeah, so um, as you can sort of work out by now, it's, it's really good for organic modeling, like if you wanted to make a cat or a dog or some kind of other weird creation. Um, you can, if you want to work on sort of smaller petite details with this, you have to go down here and set the wire size. You have to set that down. And um, so the lower it goes, the smoother it'll be, but um, the longer it'll take to process and stuff. So um, people with good computers can set it as high as they like without feeling anything, or everyone else is struggling with it. Um, like a scarecrow. Pogo. Oh yeah, so that's about all I have sort of discovered so far with this technique. Um, it's quite a fun little thing to play around with. It's um, also will be useful every once in a while. Um, as you can see, it's sort of perfectly smoothed out and stuff. There's little errors with um, normals and stuff, but sort of just like everything else in Blender, pretty much you can just, once you've done what you need to do here you can just press control C sorry alt C and um, convert it to um, a mesh and um, the best thing about that thing there that it allows you to keep the original so that you can have that to edit later on if you wanted or you can just if you say missed out doing something or something like that um, but yeah, that's about all we've got time for for this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. This is a quite a cool little feature and hope you get to use it and all that kind of stuff. Um, thanks for watching. And um, if you're on YouTube, feel free to send me some comments and stuff. And if you have any ideas for my next tutorial, send me a, um, a message.